Welcome. Let's look at this question number 10 for chemistry. Why? An organic compound has the empirical formula CH2. If its molar mass is 42 gram per mole, what is its molecular formula? Given H to be equal to 1.0, C to be equal to 12.0. A is it C2H4? B C3H4? C C3H6? D C4H8? So, what is the answer to this? Now, for you to solve a problem of this kind, you should always note that. The formula here is the empirical formula given, multiply it by N, it will give you the molar mass. So that is the formula. Empirical formula multiplied by N is equal to molar mass. So in this case, Checking this formula will find n. So our problem will be to find n. So the empirical formula as it's given in the equation is CH2. That is what is given. If we are given that if this is the empirical formula, CH2. So multiply it by n, you will now get the molar mass, and the molar mass is given as 42. So that is how you solve this. And you know that C from what is given here is 12. So we can have C in place of C, we write 12 plus H. H from what is given here is 1. So in place of H, you can say 1 times 2 because it's 2 times, it's going to be 2. Then close the bracket N equal to 42. So 12 plus 2 is 14. So we can say that 14n is equal to 42. So that n is equal to 42 all over 14, which will give us what? 3. So n is 3. So and we already know that empirical formula times n is equal to molar mass. You also know, note that empirical formula, empirical formula times n is also equal to molecular formula. So that's another way of writing it. Empirical formula times N is also equal to molecular formula. So what is the empirical formula now? The empirical formula given is CH2. You can see it here, it is given CH2. So when you multiply it by N, you will get what we are looking for, which is the molecular formula. So if you now say that N is equal to three, so what do you get? You will now have C, H2 or bracket 3 to get the molecular formula. So if you open this bracket, you have C3. This 3 will go in C3. Then here we have 3 times 2. 3 times 2 so that you can now have H6. So this is the molecular formula C3H6 because you're multiplying this 3 here getting it into here so it will give you c3 then 3 now times 2 here will give you 6 so this is the molecular formula and this makes option c the correct answer so option c is the correct answer for this so please take note of this formula empirical formula times n is equal to molar mass also empirical formula times n is equal to molecular formula so with this, you can simply solve this and you'll be happy you did. Please click the subscribe button on this part of the screen. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section. Thank you for your support and subscriptions.
god bless you.